Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will cover Andhra Pradesh Public Service Commission papers, Assistant Executive Engineer, Mechanical 2016 paper I will cover. This is section, section 2, which is common for civil and mechanical engineer from question number 50 to question number 100. Up to question number 61 already covered. After that, I will solve in this video. Question is, hoof stress for a wooden wheel with steel flat tire in terms of outside diameter of the wheel D, inside diameter of the tire small d and Young's modulus E is how much? Hoof stress we have to calculate. This is small dia or diameter of tire then diameter of wheel capital D this is diameter of wheel this is small d this is capital D here we will get stress sigma hoof stress first strain we will calculate strain is pi d minus pi small d divided by pi small d so pi pi cancel capital D minus small d divided by small d this is strain then strain relation we will apply in stress circumferential circumferential tensile stress or hoof stress is sigma c or sigma whatever you can write it's strain into e the strain value already we got capital d minus small d divided by small d into e this is sigma value so from options we have to check d minus small d divided by d into 1 is our answer a tensile force p is applied on a compound bar having two members x and y then the load shared by the member x is how much so compound bar with single load that load is applied here P two bars are this is X and this side it's Y this side is X X and Y two bars are there P is the load so here this is compound bar stress by strain is E and strain is stress by e Young's modulus. We know both case strain should be same. So strain in X and strain in Y is same. And total load P equal to load share by X sections X side and load share by Y side. Is strain in x equal to strain in y so put the values strain is sigma by e so sigma x by e x equal to sigma y by e y stress we can write it as load by area p x by a x into e x equal to here p y divided by a y e y so from here p x value and p y value we will get so we will put that value here in this formula so p equal to p x plus p y instead of p y we can write from here, P Y we will get P X into A Y E Y 
divided by ax ex so here instead of py we will write px into ay ey divided by ax ex take px common 1 plus ay ey divided by ax ex then px into ax ex plus ay ey divided by ax ex this is the value of p we have to calculate px value so px equal to p into ax ex divided by ax ex plus ay ey so from options we have to check so from option p into ax ex divided by ax ex one is our answer the relation between the elastic constants e and c for poisson's ratio of g poisson's ratio of 0.25 is how much so c is rigidity modulus e is young's modulus four formulas are important here you have to remember these four formulas any of will they, they may ask so all are important 2g or 2c also you can write same modulus of rigidity equal to instead of g we can write c in this question instead of g they wrote c so for k e equal to 3k into 1 minus 2 mu and for combine g and k 9 kg divided by 3k plus g and mu value also we can find out from here in some question in other examples they are asking this mu value also sometimes they are asking k relation sometimes they will give k and g value you have to find out e value so for mu it's 3k minus 2g divided by 6k plus 2g all for four formulas are important but in this question e and c given so first this relation we have to use so e equal to 2c into 1 plus mu value given 0 0.25 so 1.25 we will get 1.25 into 2 it's 2.5 into c e equal to 2.5 into c this is our answer 3 is our answer the radius of more circle represents minimum normal stress maximum normal stress minimum shear stress maximum shear stress maximum shear stress more circle if we will draw is normal stress axis this is shear stress axis if we will draw the more circle like this this is the radius this is the circle this is the radius so radius is representing this is maximum value of tau or shear stress maximum radius represents maximum value of shear stress for an inclined plane in a rectangular block subjected to two mutually perpendicular normal stresses 1000 mp and 400 mp shear stress 400 mp the maximum normal stress will be how much so more circle will be easy here so i will use more circle 
नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस एक्सिस एंड शेयर स्ट्रेस एक्सिस सिग्मा एक्स गिवेन हियर दिस इज सिग्मा एक्स थाउजेंड एम पी ए सिग्मा वाई फोर हंड्रेड एम पी ए एंड शेयर स्ट्रेस टाव एक्स है इट्स फोर हंड्रेड एम पी ए सो फर्स्ट थाउजेंड एम पी ए देन फोर हंड्रेड एम पी ए मिड पॉइंट इज थाउजेंड एंड फोर हंड्रेड इन बिटवीन इट शुड बी थ्री हंड्रेड हियर सेवन पॉइंट सेवन हंड्रेड दिस टू दिस डिस्टेंस इज थ्री हंड्रेड देन टाओ एक्स वे टाओ एक्स वे इज हियर इट्स फोर हंड्रेड एम पी ए सो फ्रॉम मिड पॉइंट connect here this is your radius of mohr circle this is radius of mohr circle this distance is 300 and this distance is 400 so radius is r equal to radius it's 300 square plus 400 square root over you will get 500 so radius is 500 then draw the circle you will get here sigma 1 and sigma 2 value maximum value of normal stress and minimum value of normal stress this is the mohr circle having radius 500 mpa so sigma 1 this is sigma 1 and here it's sigma 2 so 700 plus radius It's twelve hundred. Sigma one equal to twelve hundred, and sigma two is seven hundred minus five hundred. You will get two hundred. Sigma two is two hundred mpa, and sigma one is twelve hundred mpa. So maximum normal stress will be twelve hundred mpa. At a hinge in a beam, one shear force is zero. No. Bending moment is maximum no. Bending moment is zero. Three is the answer. Bending moment is zero. This is also asked in IAS exam. At a hinge. Question is the bending moment for a beam with equal overhangs and carrying equal point loads, each of P at the free ends and shear force for the beam portion between the supports is how much? Suppose you are taking. this type of beam and at the end equal point loads p and p which equal over hang so this distance is l this distance also l so due to symmetry we will get p here here also p so shear force how much so here p p cancel so here you will get this portion Zero shear force. One is our answer. This question also asked in IAS again, so so many times. So PSC questions are mainly from IAS, IAS and ISRO, and also from GATT again. So in GATT one mark question also they are asking in PSC. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.